training camp report not great uh, by the way on news uh but anyway our training camp report brought to us by miami-dade county public schools technical colleges enrolled today in one of their over 60 miami-dade county public schools technical colleges affordable training programs and get fast tracked to a financially rewarding career in one to two years convenient day and evening classes give you the fe- flexibility you need while you learn go to career in a year.com and get there Update on Teron Armstead, Leroy. He was guarded off. Leg injury. No weight on the right leg. (laughs) (laughs) What? What? Not great. Not not great. Don't read into it too much. Oh, I'm not going to read into it too much. The guy is Mr. Potato Head. Like he, he, he falls apart and, and and all the time. How am I not supposed to freak out about it? He's never played a full season, so you know what you're getting. It's not even the season yet. He was just saying yesterday they haven't even ramped him up yet. They didn't even ramp him up. They give him a little. He just had to go up the ramp a little bit. Break. Not great, Bob. Not great. Let's just go over this. He's hurt. Jalen Ramsey's hurt. Jalen Waddle's hurt. I don't like it. You still got a month before the season starts. I know, dude, but come on. You know him. He don't want to practice. You think he's faking it? I think there's wily old veteran moves where you can be as lazy as you want to be. You know what he's going to say. You ready? Here's the line. Oh, if it was a real game, I could have finished. I don't know, dude. They, they all say that. Don't. I, I mean, I wouldn't read into it. You say that about everyone. Well, what if it's really bad? Then we'll hear about it. But I'm not going to react to really bad before they even do the test. I mean, if there was one guy that you would say if he got hurt on the first play, maybe you shouldn't worry too much about it. It would be Teron Armstead. Right. Here, here's the thing. When I remember when I took when I broke my leg, right? The you first the, thing the doctor told the me mis- the mystery goal, the the mystery broken yeah. leg injury. Yeah. The doctor told me, "Oh, we, we're gonna have to have you see the um, specialist. You might need knee replacement." I'm like what? Knee mm-hmm. replacement. He's like, yeah, there's some st- a lot of stuff going on in there. So I go and I'm already armed with that information. So I'm thinking, you know, ask some questions, how long it's gonna take or whatever. I go see the guy who does knee replacement. He says, well, hold on, let's let's get MRI. We don't know what we're gonna need yet, right? I say, well, old dum dum already suggested I might need a knee replacement. So I came in here thinking we were scheduling it. He's like, no. So then we get the test. He goes, no, it's just you got a a, a crack or a little fracture. You don't you don't need knee replacement. Okay, dude. But yeah, you also walked around for like four months without even realizing that your leg was broken. <laughs> to Ron Armstead went down in the heat. <laughs> that was the worst. I'm like, I'm walking around going, you know what? I think something's wrong with my knee. It's not getting better. Okay, here, this Armstead. Like, no. If there was one guy. That was going to make me nervous. I don't care what you say right now. If there's one guy that's going to make me nervous, and, and you want to know something, if he is doing it for a vet move, it's very rude of him. Let me just say this, Toronto. Why? Why? Rude. You can't be a guy with durability issues and, and be taking vet days, uh, sneaky vet days. You got to at least give a thumbs up off the cart or a wink and a smile to Adam Beasley. Or a twinkle. Right. I can't. He's not allowed to do that. <laughs> he can't be the guy who's like, you know, I could have gotten surgery week one Dude, last year. I hey. Tried. You do understand. Their first game is on what September tenth. Uh, yeah, sounds right. Something which like is that. four weeks away. I, dude, I, I what relax, I, relax, baby, relax. I, no, I can't relax with relax. him. Just relax, baby. It's all good. You can't do my move. It's all good. It's wait, not really? all good. It's you're, not oh, all good. Wait, because here you're hyperventilating and reacting to something you don't have any facts about. That's what I'm telling you. Relax. I have a cart, and if you tell me that. If the word cart comes up in any tweet, I don't care if it's just for convenience. It scares me. Why? It's just because, dude, cart camp. The cart is a, a, a precaution. A precaution. 
Like, he walked over to the cart. They didn't pick him up and put him on stretcher. I mean, man, that'd be that'd take a lot to pick him up off a stretcher. Said Leroy, he was carted off. Like, he was carted off a month before the season. That means that, oh, we got time. Let's find out what's actually wrong. All I'm saying is, is I get what everybody's saying. I understand that everybody's a li- got a little anxiety because dude is always hurt. But here, you understand he's going to miss games. You knew that when he got here. I yes, but I was hoping like, can we get the start of the season? They just well, you know, ran- there's no there's no there's no schedule on when you get get injured for these games because these are big ones. I love, but I I love. Armstead yesterday was was bringing me such uh, such joy. Yesterday he was like, "Oh, the offense is we're coming to get." He was doing relax. We're coming together, baby. And then he goes and gets hurt. Thanks a lot, Teron. But you don't know what's wrong yet. I know that something's wrong, and something's always wrong with him. <sighs> Can't talk you off the cliff, huh? No, not on this. I, tr- I tried. I, all I see is I got game on YouTube who's saying they say no weight on the leg. No way to the leg, Leroy. <laughs> Can't ignore it. Can't ignore it. That's a big man limping. I think I'm screwing you guys up because when I was walking around for like, all that time with a broken leg, like, <laughs> but walking around with a broken leg and playing football are two different things. Just relax. Let's let's get the results back. You should have seen him before we. And what are we on. gonna get the results? What, what what you know? When are we gonna find out? When are they probably gonna see? A, probably, probably have an MRI later on today. Oh, see the doctor today. Great, dude. So what do I get to find out at the at the end of the preseason game? This is the same thing that happened with Waddle. You know, I had to wait like four days to find out what happened to my little Jalen Waddle. What? That's what? all football teams are like that. I don't like it. Yeah, give me immediate. Uh, I need to know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How do I have to feel right now? We playing that's a win, that's a loss with players. I need to know with him. <laughs> if it was if it was somebody else, okay, I'll play the patience game. You can give me 24 hours with Jalen Ramsey. Not with Armstead. I need to know right now. Is this a typical Armstead? Is this an elongated Armstead? Where are we at with this? Where does this grade on the Armstead scale? We don't know where it grades because we don't know what's wrong. Grades frequent. That's what it grades. Well, you knew this before he got here. Still played at a high level injured last year. If there's a silver right. lining. Silver lining? Silver lining is we don't know what the injury is. I mean, look at the logistics of ignorance it. Ignorance is not a silver lining. You can't say ignorance is a silver lining. Nobody not- knows. The doctors <laughs> don't know yet. That's like a, that's like saying an ostrich's life is a silver lining because its head's buried in the sand. No, I'm saying let's not overreact to not having information. Dude, but what? what, if, what if, you're underreacting, if anything. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I don't know what's wrong. Well, yeah, but you you know the character involved. Yeah, and that, that should give you a little relief. That Look, should give you a little relief. relief. He doesn't like practicing. Wait, let me tell you. If Play. a guy who never misses a practice, never misses a game, never misses a meeting, never misses anything, if he limps off the field, we'll have yeah. a discussion. You got a guy right. who's known for not liking practice. The first time someone steps on his toe, gets a little boo-boo, he says, uh-uh, I'm out. Maybe it's just a little boo-boo. Tobit, a little boo-boo? I don't feel good, Dan. I, don't feel good. I mean, I'm not excited. I'm, I'm not happy saying. about this. Why? Just Nothing good comes of these joint practices. Here, here let, me, let me just say this. Just give it a minute until we get the information. That's all. That's all. Here's the information I have, okay? Armstead, no weight on leg, cart. Nervous. It's an equation, dude. Maybe he didn't want to walk to the locker room. I understand most of the time the cart sounds scarier than it is because it's for convenience. That being said, I don't like it. It scares me. In fact, in fact, in fact, I would advise all players to get on a cart. Because if you get on the cart, then people can't say what you can and can't do and stop trying to give you a diagnostic test on the way in. But if you walk, then everybody's going to say, oh, look like he was favoring that right leg. Ooh, he's limping bad. Like, no. Checking his gait. Yeah. Oh, not as bad as you and, and, and Robbie. What? With Tua. 
It's just one time, baby. We stopped. We were at Super Bowl. We were at Super Bowl (laughs) Radio Row, right? And Robbie goes, I got eyes on Tua, right? So then Tobin joins, and they they start taking video of his gate. I'm like, come on, man. It's football, and there's a month away before the regular season. Yeah, dude, but we already lost Ramsey, and Waddle's not out there right now. This is okay, not the right. Dolphins. The keyword right now. Why are you getting caught up in all this camp stuff? A lot of it has to do with nobody want to practice. What? That's ridiculous. Mike McDaniel said they're holding Jalen Waddle back. They're protecting him from himself. Right. And okay. I don't know if he's a liar or if he's telling the truth. But what I do know is too many guys aren't out there right now. They know it doesn't matter if you know. That's the reality of it. Let's let, – oh, okay. You don't think that when they saw Toronto Armstead go down a little – when in a li- like you don't think that Mike McDaniel had the squeaky cheeks? <laughs> what, did they, what, what did they do again? The squeaky cheeks? The squeaky cheeks, dude. Okay. I'm telling you right Come now. Come on, give it to us one more time. What happened? Oh. <laughs> That sounds like rats off I the could. ship. I don't that like sounds this. like you jumped off the ship and you tried to get back on. I just oh, if Toronto Armstead's not out there, dude, like who's gonna protect my little? He tool? hasn't been out there. Who's gonna protect him? He's my guy. I need him. What does he need from me? What can I do for Toronto Armstead? Stop overreacting, I, dude. Then you know what? Don't get injured so much, and I won't and I won't overreact to everything. It's a month before the regular season. I just figured, like when he it's was a gonna month miss, before the regular season, when he was going to miss his four games this season. I was hoping like week one would be nailed, and now I'm just like, Ugh. and that you know, who knows what we got to do now? Now what, what do we got? More Eichenberg out there? Ridiculous. You're gonna have to shuffle some guys around because sometimes. Your best guard may also be your best second best left tackle. Oh, great. Hey, how's this for an ominous tweet from Omar Kelly? Both teams are on a knee because a player seemingly got seriously hurt during this Dolphins joint practice. What team? I don't know. That's why I'm pissed at it. <laughs> Give me a jersey color, Wait, Omar. I'm guessing it's Atlanta. Houston. Oh, Houston. If it wasn't, if it was Miami, he'd give a name. Dude, you, nice you overreact, man. I, what, 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 what are you doing out there, Houston? What are you making you feel out of people getting hurt left and right? Do they practice at their stadium? I don't know. Because I remember um, my I have family there, and we went to a golf course that's right around the um, stadium. Like you could see the stadium the whole time you're golfing. Come on, man. You're overreacting. You're overreacting. Here, reactions can be legit when you have all the facts. You don't have any facts, so maybe you're hyperventilating for nothing. Just like, dude. But I'm just saying, you might be overreacting for nothing because you don't know what's wrong. Let's find out what's wrong. I'll let you have your 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 day. Here's from Adam Beasley. Our said came off the field favoring his right leg. He initially went to the train table to be checked up by Miami's medical staff, spoke to Dolphins GM Chris Greer. Armstead put on sneakers but wasn't able to extend his right leg while doing so. Eventually, Armstead got on Miami's medical cart, was taken to the locker room. He wasn't able to place any weight on his. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Read that back? No, no. I got everything I need. Okay. Now, they play on grass, right? Houston? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. They're outside, so I assume. In any event, as long as I've been playing football, Mm -hmm. and I have been on a grass field, Yep. I've never packed my tennis shoes. If you packing your tennis shoes, and bringing them out on the field for Mm -hmm. a practice that is not taking place on artificial turf, you, my friend, 
have a plan. Dude, I'm just t- who bring when's the last time you saw a football player just have his tennis shoes ready to rock? Okay. What now answer my question, Leroy. What if it's a thing he does? Like, what if he likes to leave the field with his shoes? What if that's a thing? I'm telling you, I don't as like a this. player, don't it's like not a thing. Like. Nobody like brings doing. their going home shoes out on the field. I just want to be clear about this. I'm way more uncomfortable with you proclaiming you think that Teron Armstead planned a hoax than I am with being very concerned with a guy who always gets hurt. You're being more he irresponsible. His tennis shoes to practice. What if Larry the intern went and got them? Let me explain something to you. If I come to work and I'm dressed in a suit and I don't never wear a suit to work, you're going to ask me, hey, what do you got going on? Right? Mm -hmm. It looks different. When a player brings an item of clothing out to the field, i.e. sweatshirt, i.e. cutoff shirt with hoodie, right? Tennis shoes. He ain't doing much work on that day. Now, I'm not saying, I'm telling you, we don't know. We don't know what's wrong with him. But I'm going to say this. I can't believe I'm analyzing video. Of everybody I have here. never seen anyone bring their tennis shoes to practice. Can I just say? No, you can't You're a say. Conspiracy theorist. I'm not. You are. Dude, you look in the... Hold on. You just... Put your finger near the dump button, Dan. Because <laughs> this dude right here got me going. You're ridiculous. Did you just not send us a picture with somebody practicing with Chris, Chris Quinn and saying... What could this mean? Oh, I want to get to that. You're getting I, ahead of yourself. No, here. I'm not. That's the same I'm damn thing I'm doing. We're going to get to that. I think we should go to Tyler, break Tyler Hero uh, could be something. No, no. So now you can read into that just by a simple workout, and I can't read the fact that dude brought his 10 shoes to practice on I, the grass field. You're trying to box yourself what, in there. What if, so what if he always does? What if he doesn't? No, like he doesn't. Me? I'm telling you as a player, he doesn't. You don't bring 10. If your coach saw you brought tennis shoes out there, you'd be like, oh, huh, not getting no work done today, huh? That's what the comments would be. Tennis shoes at hand. Tennis shoes in hand. How hurt can you be if you got time to change shoes? Take a break. I've never hurt my leg and said, oh, snap. Go get my tennis shoes. Do they change shoes on the soccer field? No, they bring Sprite to them. All right, so we have an update on Teron Armstead. I don't know what to make of the source because it's Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Wait, you want everybody to be Gogi and then you questioning? Well, it's Tyreek Hill. Like, he's he's a he's a button pusher, so I don't know. But uh, Tyreek Hill, uh, he says he doesn't think the Teron Armstead injury is serious. He went over to him after it happened and he asked, are you straight? And he, according to Tyreek Hill, his response was, I'm straight, man. I'm just old. Go get my tennis shoes. But then he also danced and laughed after he delivered that line. So I don't know what to believe. I don't know if he's doing the Tyreek Hill thing where he's being a troll. So so my question is, is, so why not just wait till we know? You get your concern. You ever been in a waiting room before, dude? It's filled with angst. Yeah. I was usually the one waiting. So, like, when you're in a waiting room, do you just are you always of the uh, mindset of I'm gonna be relaxed until I know? Because I'm usually a worry. Well, worry. listen, when I went to the emergency room, the last thing I thought they would say was I had a broken leg. Right. So, without all that information beforehand, I'm not gonna sit here and guess what it is because I didn't know. That's why I went there. Hmm. Whew. It's not a matter of me telling everybody to calm down. It's react to accurate information. Like you're reacting for reasons you don't even know you should be reacting to. Hold on, though. Hold on. We've spent today. You've reacted to little details like he had shoes. I'm actually reacting to what I know, which is no weight on his leg, went to a trainer, carted off, and you... But it had time, but... Had time to stop and change his shoes. 
Dude, what do you think? A foot locker's there? I'm sure they're right there. Again, what do they if got? Somebody in has wait, 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 wait. If somebody has a serious injury, right? You ever seen them change equipment on the field? No. I've never thought about it. No, you have. I'm just saying. Like, the two don't go together. Serious injury and he had time to stop to change shoes don't match. All right, Teron Armstead just tweeted out. He just tweeted out. Thanks for the love and support. Heart emoji. Always. And posted a video of him putting weight on his leg. He's okay. <laughs> Thanks for all the love and support. You changed it to your tennis shoes, giving us the indication you were okay. No, nobody knew that except for you. You're like, you're no, like, let me tell you something. When somebody has a serious injury, they don't take time out to change their shoes, dude. What if he's got a read the tea hair? leaves? What if you're he's got not reading? Feet? What if he's got what if he's got flat feet? What does that got to do with injury? If he's hurt enough, you don't care about what kind of feet you got. I just want support. Oh, wow! Good job, Leroy. <laughs> Solana, I changed my shoes when I tore my ACL, and you've been milking it for six years. Right, here's the uh, here's the video Teron Armstead just posted. Hopefully, he doesn't curse. Going willy nilly here, Jay Fig. See what he says, if anything. Are we playing the the car game here? I was gonna go ahead. You guys, you guys. You guys. You guys. All right. Walking. There's the tennis shoes. There's the tennis shoes. Those look comfy. Looks like he's got some sweat shorts on or some khaki shorts on. They're khakis. All right. He's got weight on the leg. Or I'm His gait looks on. good. His gait looks good. So, are you saying now you maybe overreacted? I don't think he overreacted. I think he was just worried. I was just worried. I was worried you about know, my... But, but Okay, I'm one of those guys that... Listen, I tell my kids this all the time. Life is hard, right? You're going to have a lot of situations that you are not prepared to deal with. Get over here, you big lug. That's what I want to tell Teron Armstead. But don't make the situation worse by getting all flustered and worried about things that you don't even know what's what you have to do yet, right? So this injury, like, oh, my God, if Teron Armstead is hurt, we're in we'd trouble. Be, we'd be screwed. I know that. But him leaving practice a month before the season – I'm going to sit back and say, okay, let's wait to see what Can I just say, say, though, I, I want to just say something important here about Teron Armstead and why he's an A-plus dude. Because he knows. First of all, he probably saw Tyreek Hill, and he's like, I don't want that to be the mouthpiece for me. He's, he he hypes stuff up too much. He's a he's – a, what would you call Tyreek Hill? Would you call him a bender of the truth? Exaggerator? A, you could also use semantic samurai. Yeah. He, a, he, a, he he can he you can, can also call him Tobin. He can gas things up from time to time. You could call you could say he's a bit of a troll too. I would say I would say two biggest trolls in town are probably Jimmy Butler and Tyreek Hill. So he goes, I don't know if I want Tyreek Hill to be the voice of my health update. So <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to Teron Armstead for updating me personally. I, I want to thank oh. you. Oh, he's he, he, he knew in I was eyes. worried. Yeah. And and I, he's, I, I, he should have just, just tagged you. He's really. just a considerate guy. And I just I appreciate that about him. You know what he does? He does two things. He protects Tua and he protects my feelings. And I just appreciate that about Ty to, to Ron Armstead. Like, don't you just feel better now, Dan Day? We have gone through our day. We we have seen Teron Armstead walk. But I'm you see how you guys are doing it, and you know what I'm doing? I'm going, whew, avoided a big one. Right? Whew. Yeah. But I didn't get Ooh. to that point without until I heard the news. You guys were acting like it was worst case scenario. I know, but you know, character involved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like they made it sound like he was. They made it sound like, um, like Toronto <laughs> Armstead was getting life flighted out of the stadium to the nearest hospital. That's what you Stun made it sound like. Stun Steve says that Tobin is the third troll. 
That's not fair, dude. <laughs> I try and keep things as honest as possible. No, you don't. I really do. No, you don't. How many times have you come over here talking about Atlanta fans got all up in their feelings? So-and-so fans got all up in their feelings. Braves fans are always up in their feelings. Yeah. Annoying. Exactly. Man, feel better. Shout out to Teron Armstead, dude. That was such a necessary tweet from him. I love that about him. Yeah. That's my guy right there. Oh, my goodness. Love him. When's his next album coming out? Doesn't he sing? Let me know. Hey, Armstead, you want to go to a local boxing card? Yeah, you like boxing? Hey, you got your guy right here. I'll get you there. You know? <laughs> you want to go to the next one at the Miami Dade Fairgrounds? Old Tobes has got you. Ringside, Tehran. Um, you got to go media member, of course. You know, I'm going to get you a credential. I can't get you tickets, but, you know. You'll cover the fight with me. Wait, so <laughs> we just, you just bypassing me. I don't count no more. You're obvious, you know. I just got to, you know, pull some more strings to get extra passes. You want to go right. to the fights against Ron Armstead? <laughs> what fight? I don't know. I actually don't know when the next fight is around. I haven't heard about any boxing cards coming up locally. I think I, – oh, is there a BKFC coming? I know I know. Dada just had a card. We had him on last week. But I don't know. I don't know if there's any, any MMA or Titan or any of those guys. We should go. We haven't been to a fight in a while down here. Well, ever since that guy asked me to hold this cigarette, um, <laughs> what? a guy literally walked in with a cigarette and a newspaper. The guy swung one. There he goes again. I think you pulled something, dude. I think you pulled your cord or you rolled over it or something. We lost uh, the voice of the voice of reason in Leroy Horde. Whew. He's frantically trying to get his mic back together. Maybe he needs to change his shoes. Maybe he should just stop leaning. There you go. No, no, no. It got uh the cord got stuck in my uh flip flop. I just want to tell uh Mike McDaniel, don't you dare put Toronto Armstead on the practice field the rest of the year. Okay. Really? You save him till week one. When is he gonna get game right? Game shape right. Game shape my ass. He could do it. He could roll out of bed and protect Tua. All right. No more. No more of this but, nonsense. But, but if he's breaking down, here, let me just give you a little bit of advice on this. If you breaking down as the season goes on, if you don't have any activity, that comes quicker. You got to get your work in. Oh, man. Another update from the reporters. What? Armstead from Adam Beasley was on crutches leaving the Texans medical area. Minus one to Teron Armstead for deception. <laughs> you know, Teron Minus Armstead, one. I thought that you were considered, hey. but it turns out you're just a fibber. So no more. You put hey. No, 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 no. hey, wait, wait, wait. Right Hold now. Hold on. Hold on. Just go and get an MRI. What? Just go and get an MRI and some pictures. That's it. I'm telling you right now, this guy put up on there that he was walking, and now he needs the support of crutches. Because he's going somewhere. What does he need? For it. Why would you put up a video of you walking on two to feet? Not, to, not you... ir- to not irritate it. That's all. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. This is why it's minus one for deception. Okay. If you're walking with crutches and you put up a video of you walking on your two feet just to show you could put weight on your foot to let people know, maybe I'm not as injured as I was, but then all of a sudden you're on crutches. That's deception. And I don't appreciate that. This guy faked us out. No, he didn't. Faked us out, dude. Sometimes being on crutches, it, you know what it's like? You know when a guy tweaks his ankle and they put him in the boot? The boot looks hideous. The boot looks like you broke your leg in half. But sometimes they do it as a precautionary measure to give you a little more support and give it a chance to heal. I would say with a knee ding or something along those lines, a leg injury, Sometimes you, until you get pictures and see exactly what it is, you want them moving around, just walk on these crutches till we know what it is. Why can't I get a rascal? Is a rascal better? I feel like it's more convenient. Because a rascal, a rascal you need, um, you got to be 80. In football Ooh, right. years, he is 80. 
The worst is when you have the Achilles scooter. That's the, the no, look. the one is the leg that you kneel on yeah, it you, and scoot. The, oh, that's the Achilles scooter. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, and you can sit down. It doubles as a chair. <laughs> and you turn around and sit down. You still, you still seem to be doing a lot of work with that that the the Achilles uh, scooter. Uh, Cam Wolf of NFL Network. Dolphins left tackle Teron Armstead texted me, "Quote: I'll be good." A few minutes ago, he will get an MRI to be one hundred percent certain. Okay, but Thank sounds you. like good news for Armstead. That's good. And the crutches, just a precautionary measure until he gets the pictures. As I told you. Good. Breathe. We're good. And furthermore, you have a month until the season starts. Just don't let him practice anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a good way to get out of the rest of practice until the season starts. That's why he, that's what I'm saying. That's why he had his tennis shoes. I'm just going to throw it out there. Well such a well like, he didn't want to practice. He could have just not practiced, you know? No, we Wilkins can't do that. Practicing. No, you can't. If anybody's if Toronto Armstead came out yesterday and would have been like, guess what, guys? I'll practice a week before the season. We've been like, I'm fine with that. He's not gonna play in the preseason games. No, but this way you can go and be like, Man, I was out there, I want to practice every I'm day. I wish my I was guys, I'm grinding. I'm grinding. I'm, I'm, he doesn't yeah. have to grind. Eichenberg has to grind. He doesn't have to grind. I know yeah, but that's good. There's there here. Told me. There's a minimal amount of work you have to get in to get ready for the season. And what is that minimum? I don't know. Mm. I knew what it was for me. I knew I had to have one or two series where I had four or five carries to see where I was mentally and see where I was as far as conditioning. Because if you can go three, four, five plays in a row running the football, then you know, okay, I got to do some more work on my cardio. Right? So there's a level that you have to get to so that you know you're ready for the season. Otherwise, if you go in cold turkey without playing any real football, you're putting yourself more at risk than less at risk. You think you're protecting Teron Armstead by him not practicing or playing any preseason games? You're actually hurting him. Because he needs to get a certain amount of work in against live uh, rushers and O-linemen and blocking schemes and all that. You got to go through that. 